everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to see love in the general for the sign of pisces from now till the end of april so watch this video if you're a pisces sun moon rising venus or if you're dealing with one keep in mind these are general readings so it may or may not resonate if it do not resonate do not try to deliberately fit in check in any other placement if you want to have a personal reading link is in the description if you want to follow my instagram the link is in the description so now let us see messages for the fishes <laughs> you fishes let's see what's happening in your life all right so give me messages for pisces first give me a general message then we'll go to your love message so what is coming towards pisces general message general message for pisces for we for from now till the end of april so we have um, justice card. So some of you, I see that um, if you are going through a legal situation and if you have been very confused as to what's going to happen, will I win, will I lose, whatever. So if you are the one who is doing things fairly, like you are the one who has been fair in your approach and um, um, you know you have been doing everything by the books. So I see that the divine justice is going to come to you and you will get what belongs to you okay but if you are trying to take something that belongs to someone else then i see that you're gonna lose so justice is going to prevail but obviously you are right or not that depends on you but the the correct thing is going to happen basically so i see that for some of you so something legal um happening and it's gonna be justice it's going to be the fairness that's going to prevail so that's what i see um some of you i also see that you might get inheritance for some for some reason i'm getting this intuitively that somebody might be getting inheritance okay so that's that's possible okay what else what else i also see that you are trying to balance your life this month pisces you're trying to somehow like get a hold of your life because right now things might be a little overwhelming, confusing. So you're trying to get a hold of your life. You're trying to take the power in your hand and you're trying to balance it. Yeah, two of cups. Wow, there is love showing up for you. If you are hoping for a relationship, there's a proposal coming in. Um, somebody might make you an offer there. There's also a possibility of you reuniting with somebody and the one-on-one -on -one communication improving between the two of you so yeah some of you maybe you have ended things with somebody specifically a scorpio maybe scorpio pisces cancer doesn't really matter and some of it could be a libra so, so you might have ended something with somebody or you thought that things have ended and oh my god we are never gonna talk or whatever but that's not the case i see that there is something coming back to life after after may after a major ending okay so there's definitely reconciliation also if you have um <clears throat> bad relations with somebody like a business partner somebody at your career like somebody with whom your relationships have gone sour and you are looking for reconciling with this person because you just want to make peace with them i see that you will be getting that opportunity in the month of april okay so your relationship might improve and you will be coming back on terms with people that you might have stopped talking to um in a while you know okay anything else for pisces six of pentacles wow some of you your loans might get approved <clears throat> if you have applied for a loan somewhere then you might just get a confirmation um you know we have a balance here and then we have a balance here so i keep on seeing that something that belongs to you is going to come to you so that could be a credit that could be work credit that could be finance some of you it could be your share of inheritance for some of you it could be that i see that your life is going to be balanced you know this month and whatever belongs to you it's going to come to you uh, i also see that somebody might be extending financial support to you so if you are struggling financially you might get some sort of financial backing from someone a friend or a family member or I don't know from somewhere some financial thing might just come your way and it's gonna take off your worry and things will become very balanced in your life and you're just getting a hold of your life that's what i see for some time your life was kind of like all over the place the seven of cups here some of you you were not able to sleep well because of all these problems and your relationships might have gone sour or you were not getting your share you were not getting your credit people were taking what belongs to you or whatever i see that now you will be able to get a hold of your life back 
okay and your advice for pisces your advice is to pay attention to your intuition i see that uh, there is something which you intuitively know is going to happen like your intuition is like trying to give you an answer but you keep on blocking your intuition and you keep on shutting your intuition that's not the right approach i see that your intuition is trying to guide you so if you have been in confusion seven of cups you are in confusion you are not able to decide just let your intuition lead you because i see that your inner voice is going to guide you and it's going to give you some downloads if you pay attention you will become very clear about your path ahead okay so i see that i also see that if you are um impulsive to react right now like there could be a situation which might be happening around you and you just want to react in that uh now is not the time so because i see that if you will like step back and you will observe the situation some sort of a secret is going to get revealed and that is going to make you um help you better make a decision in the future so right now if you feel things are chaotic and you want to make a decision hold like just wait for some time let this information come out so that you can make a more informed and better decision so if you have been wanting to make a choice make a decision do something just wait for some time something will get revealed a secret is going to come out that's what i see and then it's it's going to help you better to take this lead in whichever department you want to okay all right so now let us see your love messages specifically pisces give me the present energy for pisces and love what's happening uh eight of cups you might have been walking away from somebody recently you might have walked away from someone maybe a cancer pisces scorpio could be any sign does not really matter so i see that you have distanced yourself from this connection because obviously it was not giving you what you wanted uh maybe your emotional needs were not met in this connection there was a lot of nitpicking that was happening somebody kept on pointing what's wrong within you rather than appreciating what was right like somebody was not appreciating your efforts or this connection or whatever and there was a lot a lot of nitpicking happening a lot of complaints and like this is wrong and you don't do this or you don't do that or whatever some of you i also see that somebody was neglecting your emotional needs like this person was just never there to confront like to comfort you whenever you wanted this person in your low times they were not there to comfort you and i see that now you realize that why am i in this connection when i do not even get anything from this person not even words of appreciation or comfort or emotions emotional support or whatever like why the fuck am i in this connection so you are realizing that you are distancing yourself from a relationship which is not making you happy and you are walking away that's what i see you might have stopped talking to somebody recently what is the blockage uh, for pisces in love like what's the blockage yeah the fool card the blockage could be that somebody is very immature so you are expecting a level of maturity from somebody and you expect somebody to take responsibility in this connection but this is this is somebody who's like very carefree you know this person is very carefree and like any time you talk about commitment and stability to this person this person just wants to like play around have fun uh, not take the responsibility not wanting to act mature and i also see that this person is not taking the risk to you know start something in this connection like you want this person to come to you and like make a move take a lead and like just like start this connection and i see that start is not able to happen you know this person is trying to be in their comfort zone relationship is a responsibility and it pushes you to get out of your comfort zone sometimes you know you have to do things that you don't like but you do them because your partner likes it so sometimes you have to be mature enough to realize that okay if my partner likes it i'll do it you know so i see that you are dealing with somebody who makes you do things for them but when it comes to them doing things for you they don't do it and this person is not coming in with a sense of maturity stability or whatever this person is here as long as there are fun and games in the connection they are here but when it comes to taking responsibility they don't do it they do not do it and that's the blockage so what is coming towards uh, pisces in love next what is the future energy for pisces in love though future energy for pisces in love ten of pentacles you will get the stability um in the connection and i also see that you are going to see the bs for the bs you're not going to sugar coat it anymore that's what i see so i see that you will have a choice to choose between two people one person is very mature and this is the person who has the capacity to give you what you want but if you just want something 
casual and you just want to like repeat the pattern then you will also get a choice for that all right so i see that the knight of wands shows to me that you will get an opportunity to start something very casual without any commitment or you have a choice to be in a connection which is very stable very long term this is somebody that you can think of a future with so you have two people that are coming towards you when it comes to love and then you have a choice to make and some of you you'll be paralyzed and you will not make the choice and you may actually miss on the opportunity so be very careful what else give me the future energy for pisces in love what choice will pisces make a salt wand with the knight of sword <laughs> pisces some of you you're going to make a choice to go back to a player yeah stupid bitch you might do that <laughs> i see there's a very sexual energy in the future some of you there's going to be a hookup like a reunion hookup something like that so uh, yeah the sexual energy is getting reignited and what the fuck are you choosing the knight of sword so you're going to choose the idiot after all these lessons what did pisces learn nothing <laughs> pisces didn't learn anything pisces this is a word of caution for you bitch like don't make this mistake i'm telling you like a friend like a like a sister like fucking don't go back to this toxic person or do not choose another toxic person leaving one toxic person behind what is pisces choosing is a one with the knight of sword you might actually choose somebody who might look very tempting like the connection with this person might look very tempting but this person mm -mm, this person is like coming in with a lot of instability and i see that you might make a wrong choice be very careful be very very careful what is the advice for pisces in love though pisces advice four of cups yeah your advice is to make a very wise choice choose wisely that's your advice and also do not close yourself to opportunities the problem is either you don't look for opportunities or when you look for opportunities you choose the wrong thing yeah five of sword i see that you will be tempted to make a bad choice because you'll be like wow this person is so good and the sex is going to be great and this person like comes in and they like sweep me off my feet and like they do things for me but they don't give me stability but that's okay like this person is going to change and blah, blah 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 don't paint the red flags pink don't do that do not fall in love with somebody with the potential that they have fall in love for, with somebody for what they are offering you in the moment you know the problem is when we date toxic people we fall in love with them because we think that in the future this person is going to change and then i will connect with them no if they are toxic in the present there are very high chances they're going to stay the same in the future as well and maybe that is why your advice here was to wait and listen to your intuition some of you i see that you want to reconnect with somebody or you want to fall in love with somebody who's very toxic very in and out and very you know like unstable but it's like right now you might not know it and you will get to know this about them that they are very toxic and unstable so you need to listen to your intuition before making a choice and you need to wait because some more information is going to be revealed and that is going to help you choose better you have a choice in love that's what i see very strongly all right let's take your romantic angel card give me message for pisces in love <clears throat> yeah unrequited love and then reconcile i'm telling you there's an opportunity for reconciling with somebody who doesn't have love for you this person and you it's a toxic chemistry that you share with them you keep on going back to this person they have nothing to offer you but you keep on waiting and waiting and waiting don't reconcile with them you will definitely have an opportunity to go back to somebody who is very codependent you are in separation with this person uh this person is full of shit they might try to wrap you up in their words and like want to come back to you but they don't have anything good to offer you your your choice the better choice is to go for this new love and some of you maybe just take a break from for love from love for now and just focus on your career and finances because i see your career and finances are going to be improving and wait for the right person to come do not like jump into any random tom dick and harry like stop doing that to yourself don't date people because you're lonely date people because you want to date them okay give me message for pisces oops so we have days just passed by without you 
I'm sorry I disconnected from you. So I see that there is somebody who disconnected from you when you wanted them the most. They want to apologize for that. This person definitely have you on their mind and they want to reconnect with you. But this person is still full of shit. So be very careful. I'm trying hard to reach to you. Somebody is trying very hard to reach out to you. You might have blocked this person, deleted their number or whatever. So they don't know how to reach out to you. They want to reach out to you. So yeah, it's quite a chore for them basically right now. I give you a message for Pisces, please. Message for Pisces. Lovers, you also have option in love. You know, I see that you have an opportunity to connect with somebody better. Some of you also need to take care of your finances. Poverty card here. You are spending more than you earn. Stop doing that. Despair. Uh, right now, you might be very concerned about your financial situation. What I see. Mature woman. There could be a mature female around you who might be guiding you. Take care. Um, advice and we have marriage so from lovers to marriage you definitely are coming across somebody some of you there's a mature lady around you who might connect you to this person uh, so that is possible I see that that you might be meeting somebody who is like a lover and then they're gonna convert this you know like the connection is going to convert into marriage but just make sure that you choose the right person because I see that you are having a very high chance of choosing a wrong person because of temptation and codependency. Just make sure that you don't do that. Okay? So that's your reading. I hope this has been resonated. If it does, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment. I will see you very soon in the next video. Till then, you guys take care. Stay safe. Bye.